Greg Martin joins us. Marta, give us that stupid argument again why you Queenslanders hate daylight saving and won't do it. What's the point? Because we don't think we have the power, like God, to move time. We just figure we just uh, allow everything. It keeps you nice and calm. What? Oh, I don't know, mate. I'm a supporter of daylight savings, but the problem is our farmers go, it uh, ruins, what, what does it ruin? Ruins our curtain. So That's it, the curtains. That That's the curtain. I was telling yeah, Lachlan no. about this. Something about the curtains. Queensland, you're going to have to buy new curtains or something if you go, well, what the hell? Yes. And the cows get confused. Apparently, that's the logic. That was the logic 50 years ago, and we're not, uh, mate. We're very conservative in Queensland, so and a little bit backward most of Australia. But hang on, but hang on. Say, after 50 years, <laughs> there's been two generations since which could convince you all. Yep. Oh, mate, I, you, you're not. You don't have to convince me. I'm a huge fan of it because we're a tourism state. Mm. So the thing is, the tourists spend. Our sun is starting to get up right now at 4:30 in the morning. Okay. So, do tourists spend money at 4.30 a.m. or do they spend it at 7 o'clock at night? It, it seems like a no-brainer, but we've got a lot of farmers living in Queensland and they're the ones who are saying, nah, they don't want daylight saving. Shouldn't matter to them, doesn't the sun come up? It's time to start work, yeah. sun goes down, yeah. time to have a beer. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Well, no. I mean, it hasn't confused the cows. Anyway, all right, we've got the T20 World Cup tomorrow. This is us versus you. So this is how it goes, okay? We look like a team of oat trim milk latte drinkers. We go out there. You don't talk to us. You don't say hello to us. And we're in Germany and they're not bullying us. And then we fall over and our pants come down and you smack us. Is that how it's going to go? Well, that's the usual script, but we're talking sport and we're talking T20. Nothing is predictable in this stupid game. Like, it. It's over in three hours because none of us have got the, uh, the the brain or the concentration span to be last any longer than True. that. First so T20. Hey, who won the last World Cup? Do you remember? No, of course you don't. No, you did. Uh, you, you beat us. It was last oh, year. There was. <laughs> you beat, see that? Cor- correct. Yep. <laughs> correct. Um, you guys have trouble, though. On paper, we're miserable at the moment. We've got a captain who can't score any runs. He scored runs in one out of the last 12 innings. We've got a middle order that doesn't know what they're doing. Our bowlers are good, and that could be our saving grace. But really, we're not. You should be favourites for this game, but we all know that you go to water, and I can't work out why. Why can't you play short form cricket in Australia? We always roll you. Yeah, you so do. Yeah. I guess you got no confidence, but I wouldn't be surprised if game one we don't seem to be in very good form, mate. I mean, I tell you what, I've actually been enjoying the pre tourney tourney. I've been sitting there watching matches that I've got no. <laughs> Look, Scotland played Ireland the other night. I was watching it, mate. I was roaring I at the team. You know what the hell? I hate T20. I was watching T20. Mate, Namibia, who did Namibia beat? Sri Lanka yep. the other day. Yep. The Netherlands are through to the final 12. It's- it throws up some just silly ones because the thing is, anyone who can't make the Australian team, I guess it's probably the same as the Kiwis. Oh, did I tell you I've got a Dutch grandmother? I'm here over there. <laughs> like it's, it's full of Australian great cricketers, yeah. all these other yeah. little teams. Yeah. So, it's like, uh, it's, like, it's like the Rugby I'm League. It. It's like the Rugby League World Cup, isn't it, mate? Oh, so I can't make a team, so I'm going to play for Jamaica. You know, brilliant. How good? Well, listen, talk that you guys play Jamaica tomorrow morning. I don't, oh no, that's that Sunday, Sunday morning. Yeah. I don't know. We've got we've got a big one against Scotland, and they're all just as, any Australians with muck in their name. <laughs> oh, I think I'll go and play for Scotland. So we got the might of Scotland. You guys have got Jamaica. I was watching one this morning, and damn you, Foxtel over here. I was watching Greece play France, and I was actually cheer, you know, going, oh, this is interesting. It's a close game. I realised it was from four days ago. But there's, <laughs> there's no proper sport on. 4.30 this morning, I'm watching a game that was played four days ago. and going, oh, how did you trick me into that? So, but, but the Rugby League World Cup... Oh, I don't know how we'll go either. We look a bit clunky, but we should win that, I suppose. I don't want to be overconfident, but we're, that's our game. Triple M out of Brisbane, a man show where they talk about men's things. You've got a man that's your captain of your Australian cricket team who's not a man. Ooh. He's now turned into Jacinda Ardern. He was happy to take the Alinta Energy sponsorship for years, but all of a sudden now yep. it doesn't suit his moral compass. So is going and playing in the IPL, the world's biggest polluting country, India, that does that still suits his moral compass, but being sponsored by Alinta Energy doesn't, does it? Well, do, if we have a game in Adelaide, is he going to ride a bike there? Is he going to say, I don't play night cricket anymore? Because you know how much power gets burnt by those light towers. Mm-hmm. Um, mate, where do you stop? I understand the old days. When it was tobacco advertising, the Benson and Hedges cricket team and all the rest of that. And none of them complained because they were getting paid. So, 
A lot of people here in Australia, and I'm amongst them, going, hey, Pat, if you don't want to get paid, bugger off and go and play yeah. great cricket and see yeah, how that goes exactly. for you. Get so a job, I thought he was Get, a, always get a real job, you know? I, I thought he was, until this, I thought he was the perfect human being. All he is is a, he bowls a nagging line in length and talks nonsense. He's been hanging around, and I, I don't want to bag him too much because I loved him when he was playing footy. Do you know that David Pocock, former yep, player yep, for Australia, yep, is now yep. a senator? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know whether you knew in the, while he was playing rugby, he got uh, warned a few times because he chained himself to bulldozers. That's it, with, yeah. uh, bulldozers around him. Yeah, so he's he's Captain Woke, and guess who his best mate is? Pat Cummins. Yeah, so, okay, right. do you, so Pat Cummins has virtually gone, because of his friendship, he spoke to the CEO and said, I don't like a litter anymore. They're a large, a large polluter. Um, $40 million, $40 million, $40 million, uh, sponsorship that Alinta wanted to keep on going has been cancelled. So, ooh, cop that. Ooh. I'll give you another one. You know how you guys, well, I know the Diamonds beat you in the third. Yeah, they did. Yep. But the first two of the Constellation, you guys won. Our Netball Association, Netball in Australia, is absolutely skint. They have no money. They are broke. I guess Netball over there is probably strong, but we have no money. They've had to cancel a 50... They've had to say no to a $15 million offer of sponsorship from Gina Reinhart, Australia's richest person. She said, listen, I want to help you out, netballers. But they're going, no. Oh, it's Because uh, she's a mining story, magnate. Isn't she a mining not, magnate? So that's why they... I yes. mean... I mean, and her old man was a mining magnate, and, and 40 years ago he said something bad about um, Indigenous, and they're going, no, nah, we don't want you $15 million. I, I don't know what's going on with these sports, but they'll soon find out that you need money to operate. Greg Martin with us. Is the government going to let Novak into the Australian Open next year? This debate's going to come up again. You know it's only a month or so away. Okay. All right, uh, Melbourne, played in Melbourne, that's the state of Victoria. The Victorian government's going, well, we want him. Yeah, 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 everything's fine now. No more shutdowns or anything. But then on the other hand, they go, oh, we're not responsible for letting people into Australia. So the ball's in the Commonwealth. Yeah, in other words, he will be coming to Australia, mate. They don't want to, the COVID's over as far as all that nonsense. They're going, right, I just play on, back to first tackle and uh, everything will play on. He will be coming, so he'll become the greatest of all time, la, la, la. Mm, okay, all right, because, I mean, I thought that he just falsified some immigration papers and normally there's a consequence to that. Oh, no, it wasn't yeah. him, that's right. It was his minder. No, but that'll be all right. He, but there was a mistake. We all make mistakes. Make mistakes, uh, yeah, I know we're supposed to be accountable. Yeah, it was one of my assistants. So, you know, mate, they need him because of the draw card. They want bums on seats. They want people to drink pins and everything else that they do at the tennis. All right, let's go back to just a quick protest before you leave. See, we've got these clowns at the moment who are doing things like they're gluing themselves yeah. to the motorway, right? So what they do is oh, they, they hire a van. Have Extinction Rebellion? Yeah, we've got yeah. this. So, so, they, so, so, they, so, so they hire a van powered by petrol, fossil fuel. Then they go to the motorway. Yeah. And then they get out and then they sit on the motorway and they glue themselves to the motorway because they're protesting against vehicles. Um, and there are people now who are just getting so upset at this that they, they willfully pick them up, move them and so forth. Um, uh, just, do you have these, do you have these, uh, the ones to me that really need the punch in the face, those ones, like, oh, you did a lot of protesting in my, in my time, mate. And so, you know, I, I have a little bit of empathy, but the ones that go into the art galleries and start spraying soup or pouring milk over a supermarket, do you know what happens? Somebody getting paid wages has to go and clean your shit up is what they have to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, and, and no, no magistrate over here has the guts. They're always let out. Next thing you know, they go and get some more glue and glue them to something. I think you should just call them speed bumps and go, what do you call them? <laughs> Judder bars. Um, and just run over the bars. <laughs> they, uh, they are, mate, they are so, and most of them are privileged. If you oh, they go are. dig down. They absolutely, down, mate. They're, the remu- they're coming from the yeah, top suburbs. They're going to university, rich, mate. They've got, yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, are you going to the uh, island? Is that, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that the weekend, mate? Because I was just saying before that I've got a dinner party on Saturday night and I'm trying to juggle. I've been saying to my mate, mm. can, can you say that, can we have an early dinner starting at four so that when the game starts at seven, we can retire to the drawing room with a cigar and watch our footy? Oh, <laughs> lovely. No, I'm going nowhere, mate. Brisbane's looking like, uh, looking like Auckland right at the moment. We've got rain. Uh, we've got a La Nina. Do you guys care about weather? We've got La Nina coming from the yeah. east of Australia, and we've got we've got another one called the Indian Dipole. That one's only just a new term, and they're combining. Australia is very moist at the moment, but it's still 25 degrees, so I'm not whinging. Lovely talking to you, dude. Let's catch up again next Friday, as always. Greg Martin joining us as he does on Fridays.